a class. It's Mrs. Gilling back again, ready to go over the steps for your writing assignment number three. Before we do, I know it's your favorite part of the week, mine too. Joke of the unit. Ready? I found this today while I was doing a Google search and it made me laugh. So why did Waldo go to therapy? To find himself. So get it? Where's Waldo? Went to find himself. High five, buddy. I thought it was a pretty funny one. If you didn't think it was funny, well, then you have to do a writing assignment. But if you thought it was funny, you have to do it too. So I guess it's okay. So here we go. Right into our writing assignment for unit three. Your assignment, straight from Flip Switch, it says, write an essay on daily life in these three broad categories of society. Pre-industrial societies, industrial societies, and post-industrial societies. Include information on subsistence strategies and social structures. Write five complete paragraphs. So here's a little more in-depth details of what I'm looking for and how to be successful on, on this project. Okay, so here's what I'm calling your steps to success or steps for success. First, you need to have a solid introduction with a thesis statement and overview. I need to know, based off your introduction, that you're going to be talking about three different groups of societies, three different categories of society. I need to know that you're going to be talking about the industrial society, the pre-industrial society, and the post-industrial society. If I don't know that by your introduction, then you're not going to get full points. So keep it simple. Give me some sort of attention getter, and then let me know your thesis statement. Today I'm going to be talking about these three broad categories of societies. And there you go. So a straightforward but solid introduction. Make sure to have that thesis statement in that overview. In your first body paragraph, I want to know what daily life is like in the pre-industrial society. And it's okay if you don't know what those things are yet. It's okay. You're going to learn about them in, in your units, in the assignments. But it's, it's super interesting stuff. I love learning about it. It helps you to see how we've evolved from the beginning of time till now. Uh, for instance, we no longer have to go out and hunt and gather for our food. We have it right here ready for us. We go to the grocery store and we pick it up and that's how we, how we get our food. That's how we survive. But back in the day, uh, they didn't have that option. And even some societies today, I, and that's something else I wanted to point out. In the past, when I've had this assignment, students would say when there were pre-industrial societies, there technically are pre-industrial societies today. There's people that live in those ways still. And so please don't write in your essay as if they're in past tense because they do still exist. Make sure to include in this body paragraph what subsistence strategies they used. Um, essentially, how did they get their food? How did they survive? What tools did they use? Um, that's just, you know, when kids ask me what subsistence strategy is, the main thing I tell them is what did they do to get their food? But it also involves what sorts of technology did they use? Uh, what sorts of jobs did they have? I want to know what their days were like. I also need to know what the social structures were like there. Um, what kind of hierarchies did each society, what kind of hierarchies are in each society what's it like so pretty straightforward straightforward there but again i don't want just a fact system i want to really feel it i want to really get a grasp from your essays what it's like to be a part of that kind of society what's daily life like so that'll be your first paragraph daily life in a pre-industrial society next i want you to write one body paragraph about what daily life is like in an industrial society remember what subsistence strategies do they use? And what is their social structure like? And then after that, you're going to write a paragraph on daily life in a post-industrial society. What subsistence strategies do they use? And what is their social structure like? I guess you sense the theme here. You're going to write three different paragraphs with the same information, but for each group, telling me what their daily life is. And after you've written all three of those, you're going to have a solid conclusion where you restate your thesis statement and restate your three main points. Uh, if you've had any questions about this, definitely reach out to me and let me know. But the biggest mistake that people have made in the past with this essay is not answering these questions in their, in their body paragraphs. You have to answer these questions in each of the body paragraphs for each of the different groups. Um, and you got to make it so I know about the daily life. Don't just list facts. Explain what life really is like for these people. Your textbook gives awesome information for these. You can find information for it. Let me show you. Some more information you can go to 
textbook page is 62 to 67. These pages will have all of the information that you need. You honestly don't have to go out and do a lot of outside research for this. You can find the information there. You just need to break the information down and put it into essay form. So that's your hint, that's your tip. A lot of students in the past have you know, gone to Wikipedia, but then they come back with wrong information. I'm not talking so much about the Industrial Revolution. Uh, last, last semester or last, uh, last time I taught this class, a lot of kids wrote a whole essay on the Industrial Revolution. That's not what we're talking about here. It relates, it involves the Industrial Revolution to an extent, but we're not writing about the beginning of the Industrial Revolution and the end of the Industrial Revolution. That's not what this essay is about. So don't worry too much about going out and getting outside research. Focus on textbook pages 62 to 67, and it'll get most of the information that you need. But again, if you're stressed and have any questions, reach out to me. But I think it's a fun essay to write, and it's super informative for me to read your viewpoints on what daily life is like in these societies. And I'll have a lot more fun reading your essays, and I'll enjoy them more if you put fun things into them. Imagine yourself being in these societies. You know, what would happen if you woke up one morning and you were in a post-industrial, or excuse me, a pre-industrial society. And what would happen if you woke up and the next day you were an industrial and the next day you were in a post-industrial? If you wrote your essay like that, I would be so much happier reading it than if you just, you know, list a whole bunch of information. So I encourage you to have fun with it. But beyond that, the things we talked about in the past slides, those are the requirements. And now that you know what you have to do, I would like for you to please, please, please go and do your video assignment in our Google Classroom. Please. <laughs> um, so far, I've had quite a few of them turned in, but I want all of them turned in because it's such an easy way to, one, do better on your projects because you understand the requirements more, but two, to get a good grade in the class because these are worth 5%, so you may as well get 5% for watching the video. But thanks so much for your time, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, reach out to me. But beyond that, have a great week. And by the way, if any of you have any suggestions for the next joke of the unit, let me know. I'd love to put them in here. Thanks so much, guys.